briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2003, the Supreme Court of South Carolina presided over a case in rebuilding, which enveloped an attorney's shocking misconduct and the consequent implementation of disciplinary action. The focal point of the case was the notion that engaging in unethical procedures in violation of the rules for lawyer disciplinary enforcement can warrant severe penalties, one of which could include suspension from practicing law. David E. Belding, an established lawyer, fell from grace as he was met with a one-year suspension following a series of unearthed malpractices. Belding acquiesced, meticulously crafting an assortment of fraudulent documents and dispatching a deceptive letter to Miss Hunnicutt. However, the scheme crumbled when a bewildered Miss Hunnicutt sought legal advice, instigating a revealing investigation into Belding's actions. These actions were combined with another case involving client Jennifer Carmen, leading to the formal charges by the Attorney General's office against Belding. Upon reviewing the layers of misconduct, the court unanimously convicted David E. Belding of multiple breaches of the rules of professional conduct. This provoked an inevitable and deserved disciplinary action, leading to Belding's suspension from practicing law. In addition, Belding was mandated to produce an affidavit within 15 days to showcase his Rule 30 compliance, thereby concluding one of the most shocking narratives of deception held within the legal community. The consequential decision was backed by Chief Justice alongside Justices Waller, Burnett, Plicones, and Acting Justice Lloyd. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.